For those of you that missed what was going on, uh, we do have like a couple transfers going on right now. We have offers out for Michael OKK, Jacob Wright, Rico, Rico Patterson, Dom Plank. We're not going to get some of these guys, but Jacob Wright, it looks like we're going to get. And he's a freaking awesome midfielder. Dom Plank, we just have on trial, so we have an offer in because we don't want to lose him. This guy is going to be like a rotational player for us that can definitely go forward, play a more attacking midfield role. It looks kind of like Patrick Kelly, but he's not Patrick Kelly. We do have an offer out for Lewis Richards. I'm expecting us to not get this guy, but he is really good. It's maybe not automated. I mean, it's not 100%. Oh, yes, Maidstone. He'll take that. He'll go down to the league we were just in. Ooh. 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 It's not short. Determined is all get out. Composure issue, but he's actually not bad technically. He just can't, literally can't score a goal. Watch, I guarantee you they're interested. Oh, it's kind of a nasty deal, too. Guys, I don't wanna I don't wanna like overhype it, but there is a new version of the loan song coming out soon. Not uh, a chat. I think we're I think today is the day we're actually gonna sign some good players. Hello! Thank you for joining us in the live channel. I'm sorry you couldn't be here live. Although, you might be watching this from the New Zealand Streams channel, which is important to mention, and we're going to mention for a while, because the Zealand Streams channel is where the full streams will live. So if you ever liked watching those, we're taking them off the live channel, we're putting them on the Zealand Streams channel so that you can be, you can have a spot where you can get notifications for that and also a spot to get notifications just for the edited versions of the streams, which, of course, you might also be watching. Uh, the stream channel is connected to the live channel and vice versa, if you happen to find this the other way. Uh, and so you can subscribe to both, subscribe to one, subscribe to the other, turn your notifications on, whatever. The, op the choice is yours, but now uh, all of the full streams will be on the streams channel. And, you know, anyways, welcome to the stream. Hopefully we're about to sign some really cool guys. I am I am pro signing some really cool guys. Rory McConville. What do they come up with? It? It's like a random Irishman generator or something. This guy's so good. Oh, except for you, Ben. You kind of suck, but whatever. That's okay. Oh, dude. Sign me up. They're supposed to holy. About to sign me a whole new team, brother. One day on trial, and Alexi Rojas Fedoroshenko gets an offer from Leicester City. We did get Joe Wynn Stanley, who I'm probably the least excited about out of everybody we've offered. What did he want? Impact sub. I'm a sucker for an impact sub. Where are your top three countries to manage in? Wales, obviously. Uh, I mean, <laughs> duh. Germany is a ton of fun. Uh, because you don't have to, like, it, it's like playing on easy mode, right? There's no restrictions. There's no work permits. You just... Third favorite league. I'm going to go Turkey. I would, like, where you have a ton of parity, a lot of good teams, and a ton of money. It's not easy mode. It's very difficult. There's a bunch of good teams. There's a lot of competition for signatures. What place do you expect this team to finish? Uh, every year of this save, we've been at least in the playoff. I expect for us to get into the top two spots. I'm dead serious. <gasps> we actually, the board said yes for the, the, the first time ever. All right, I want a center back who has jumping reach, pace, and acceleration. Aaron Riley. You are a gorgeous man. Come on, Aaron! Patrick Kelly signs a professional contract. That's great news for us. Jaden Heskey, can we I can we just sign this guy now? Jaden Heskey seems freaking perfect for our team. I can't believe we signed Paul Lewis in a non-contract after getting promoted to league ball. It's hilarious. I am gonna sign Keg Chowky so fast after that trial day. And I am not gonna get there in time. I can't wait. Sad day. Sad moment. Sad day, chat. Our boy, a ride or die center back. 
A guy that was uh, somebody who was never at the start of a season a starting center back, and yet somehow, as seasons went on, worked his way into the rotation both times and gave us really good minutes. Thank you to Sean Green. This is about to be tragic, guys. Because the captain... The captain is about to leave. Louis Kinsella, he asked to move on to greener pastures after four years. This wasn't even our doing. He requested to move on, and we were like, you know what? Okay. At least five assists every season playing from that left back spot, getting us all the way up to the league. He rode up with us from National League South. He legitimately might be the last player on our team from National League South. But goodbye, Louis. Thank you for everything. Thank you for a great three years, Lewis. And we have offers out on guys that just haven't, you know, matriculated yet. We're waiting. We're waiting on it. We're in the offseason after getting promoted to League Two. Michael KK again with the offers. Aaron, they were in the same division, Aaron. The financial muscle. Aaron, I've got, you have no idea how much muscle I have. It's possible. Uh, preferred destination would be late in Orient. Cool. We're going to play against Dexter this year. Ah, 113000 a year. I get it, Alexei Rojas Fedorashenko. I do get it. Surprise, us is the right answer. Oh, my. Wait, what am I missing? I'm not missing anything. He's short. Nah, this is a really good ball-carrying, midfield-capable guy with the decisions and the composure. Doesn't get stuck into challenges. Who really cares? Comes deep to get the ball, looks at the pass rather than the shot. I love you, Stan. It's not a bad idea to go for star player in a year, basically. Be like, hey, man. Thank you. Good thought. Good thought. Oh, wow. And we might be able to get him way down here. If we don't get promoted, then you can leave. Hello. My name is Jose Mourinho. I am literally using the fact that they think we're terrible against them in negotiations. He has no salary escalator and the release clause only kicks in if we don't get promoted and even if we even if we don't promote right we got a year out of him for well below what he was supposed to be getting paid i can pay you that amount literally telling me i don't have the financial muscle to sign you is just insulting that is a big signing because this dude is a physical monster jacob wright is a physical beast this guy occupies space like a tipped over double wide trailer on the highway. And he also has shoots from distance with 14 long shots. So I thoroughly expect him to be banging the ball into the net from outside the box. Jacob Wright. Welcome to the team, brother. Edo Kayembe. Oh, he's getting an offer from TP Masimbe. Well, he is also like he played 35 times for Watford. Now he's going to go play in the Congolese League. I get that. A contract now at Norwich. I'm assuming youth team. Oh. <laughs> We also missed out on Rico Patterson. He signed with Colchester. We It still hurts, even though I knew that we were not going to get most of these guys. Just to watch it happen like that. All right. Dexter is signed. Dexter Limbakisa. He's going to play in our division. Seated applause. Seated applause. We've moved Limbakisa on. He wanted a lot of playing time for us to upgrade his contract to fully professional, so we just figured we'd... We'd move him on and free up that wage budget, but we appreciate his one year. He did have one of the best assists of the year last year, and he was he was he, he was a guy that did exactly what we needed him to do at the time we needed him to do it. So we still have Win Stanley that was outstanding, and Stan Flaherty and Dom Plank. Dom Plank is the guy I think we have a shot at. Uh, Jaden Heskey, holy smokes, holy good god, this guy is talented. He is a, he's a real deal player for us, and I want to explore um, a, an important player contract. Star player scares me with the amount of rotation that we have to do. Non-negotiable. 80,000 uh, non-promotion release. Oh, I'm on fire right now, dude. I am on fire. Can't believe we just hit that one. Uh, okay, that was close. Kane Ryan. What? Do you see that? Do you see his ability? I want to get rid of the relegation salary drop. I'm also going to get rid of a promotion salary raise. And I'm scared. I mean, like, I'm happy with it. 
Because I totally expected him to come back like Heskey and be like 60 million. Based off the freaking release clauses this guy was asking for, I figured he was going to ask for a lot more, especially with his agent being mad. And yet somehow, we're great. There it is. That stinks. The fullback didn't get any offers, though, so that's cool. But Jaden Heskey did. Dang it. Uh, the agent has a great respect for me, so let's see if we can... I, I don't know. He's, he's, you get a lot of playing time here. Maybe if I pay him like a good wage, he'll, he'll want to come here. Oh, we got... Sahara Gate and Solil, we can survive those. Cambridge, we might not be able to. Let's just kick this off on Snowden as well, then. Because I'm going to want this guy at some point. Really? Stan! They're in the league below us, Stan! Oh, the Forest Green is in League One. I suppose we should have seen that coming, but man, we are missing out. <laughs> We're getting contracts on the table for a lot of guys and still not signing them. Which is just, uh, it's tough. It's a bitter pill to swallow. It's like Dermy Lasala is going to be the guy. I he, It literally says interested, like transfer interest in that Kegs is interested. Now I got to scout both of them. It's going to take eons, right? Team building. Real. These are real taunt hours. Real taunt ten hours. I'm so mad Aaron O'Reilly is signing in our league. Ridiculous. Hey, we got Joe Snowden. So unlike these other midfielders, Joe was like, I'm in, boss. I'm just going to go ahead and add this guy because we don't really have a lot of midfielders right now. We now have Joe Snowden and Patrick Kelly, and that's like kind of it. We do not have enough players to qualify as an actual team in this league. And wow, hi. He played for City. Oh, oh he's a beast. He's an incredible player. He's going to end up in the championship very likely. He dropped a 7.21 in the championship. Come on, you know you want to play for us. Harry! Guys, I have terrible news. We are, we're not signing Harry Maguire. I have been waiting for you. I have been waiting for you to appear, Alfie, and I am so freaking happy that you have appeared. Avoid relegation, dude? I'm, uh, I'll toss it to a cool 1K, Alfie. Oh, yes, Alfie Doy! Fanje Toure. All right, do you want to do a trial? Or are you going to reject me too? I can't take any more rejection. Kegs. Surely at some point Kegs is going to be interested, right? He has nobody interested in him. I think he set his standards way too high. No, no, not a South African team. Dang it, they have money. Leave me alone. When Stanley is coming in as our backup right back, Nah, I don't blame him. He was too good to play for us. It's a darn good player, Jaden Heskey, and he is headed to Plymouth Argyle to go ply his trade in League One, and I will see him next year. Well, that does free up a lot of cash, though. Ferdinand Oko? Isn't he interesting? Big, physical, gifted passer. Surely... Surely this is going to this is gonna work. It didn't move! Oh, sorry, I forgot to give you your bonus, you freaking skis. I don't even know what that word means. Alright, 30. 28. Oh, I am so in love with myself. Oh, Kane, dang it. Cambridge was the team we were worried about. Then we've missed out on Kane Ryan now. We're, we're getting a little shallow at left back. We still just have Joel Taylor out there. I don't like that. We're going to have to play against Kane Ryan too, which is always so not fun. Turns out Queen of the South, we're a little ahead of that. Freaking kegs. I could have paid you that! This man looked me in the eyes and said, I don't believe you have the financial muscle to be my contract demands, and then took a demand that was 15% lower than my max possible contract. Ferdinand Oko says yes. Pen to paper. Good midfield coming together. I want the killer balls. No, okay. If he picks Eastley over me, I'm going to flip this table. We have been in on Alfie for a while. There is no way. I thought we had him. I really thought we had him. That's more like it. Oh. <gasps> 
Yes. Wickham Wonders, who just got relegated from League One. Oh, it was a trial. They offered a trial, and he said, you know what? Screw you. I want to play for Taunton Town instead. A center back, Alfie Doy. Well, the hour's getting late. You know, we've got like two weeks before the season kicks off, and our team is coming together. In the customary tradition of the Zealand Twitch channel, Marcus Sheldon will wear the burden of the number 20 shirt for the season. If only there was like, I don't know, a good player somewhere. Chris Farino, you once fringe player. This is our fourth center back right here. And we're about to have four of them. And then Luis Fernandez is just going to stay on a non-contract until somebody... Those guys are going to stay non-contract until somebody signs them. <laughs> Jill Taylor pins a two-year deal to turn an, into a professional player. We're going to immediately be super intriguing. Jack Bycroft signing ourselves a backup guy. He's back, baby. He's back! After spending some time at Huddersfield and not getting time on the field, Jack Bycroft is back. All right, guys. While we're working our way to August, we do have something very important that we need to handle. You might be like, no, it's probably not that important. And um, I'm not lying to you. I don't know if you remember, but I tweeted out a little competition not too long ago in partnership with CyberPower right here. And I said, you know, caption this photo for a chance to win a CyberPower gaming bundle. Editing is encouraged. And the funniest one wins. This is the kind of setup you could have if you just use loans. That is that is fair. That is fair. You know what? New leader. Matt Johnson, there you go. I, I saw this one. I remember seeing this one after I toasted the tweet. This one has the lead now. When my girlfriend asked why we're three months behind in our mortgage and why the bailiffs are at the door. <laughs> Check it out! That's funny. Spencer Taylor. When Zeeland has to confess to his mom how he actually got the new PC. Loans! <laughs> <laughs> He's just posting memes of me. That's funny. Me saving a header from Giroux. Thank you. Appreciate that. This, uh... Oh, it's it's cursed. This is this is 100% cursed. I don't know, dude. That is... That's good. That's the new favorite. Vanilla. Zealand. Overwhelmed and shocked how good Cyberpower UK performed on debut. Match rating 10... That is such... Oh, Mike, that is such good effort. That is an effort. Literally named it Cyberpower UK in-game, took the image. I, the problem is I don't... This isn't good enough to beat the face computer switch, you know? But that is good. That is, like, well thought out. That deserves a like. <sighs> Gaming's as easy as scoring goals. Thank you for including Nick McCoody in this. You deserved the like. Computer's always a top performance, man. Runs on that Nick McCoody next-gen hard drive. Oh, somebody else thought of the same cursed head flip, dude. Chairman FM coming flying in. And that makes it very close because it's literally the same joke. But I think the other one was just a slightly better edit. Battle of the cursed entries. It's time to sell some ad space, go defensive and park the bus. Unlimited power. All right. Um, somebody palpatined me. That's... God. Yeah, like I'm going to have that much hair when I'm that old. Really? The sheer size. Me? The sheer size of Zealand's head. I think we have our winner. I think it is Vanilla. And if they're not from the UK, then it's Chairman. He might live in the UK. We're going to give it a day because I'm not like, no, who's going to respond right away? Right? They might respond right away, but they might not. So we're going to give it a day. Oh, he beat Barton Staple. Can you stop getting hurt? Holy smokes, dude. Marcus Sheldon just, he was out for nine weeks at the start. Now he's out again. So it's like our last big batch of, of trialists that we're going to have on our team. And then we're going to have it whittled down pretty nicely. Let me just check our registration. Just like make sure that nobody slipped through the cracks. Farino's supposed to be up there. All right. We are going to be scrambling this team together on week one. It's going to be interesting. I don't. I think over the course of the season, we should be good. But in terms of this game, there are plenty of things telling us that we shouldn't be. <laughs> plenty of things telling us that we shouldn't be. But we are going to be absolutely outstanding at set-piece defense. I can tell you that much right now. First game of the season. I am a little nervous. Trust you. I trust you. I trust you. Everybody loves me. Shaq Ford's on the field. 
We have Shaq Ford today. Oh, our first, yeah, our first game is a professional team. Most of our players have re-upped on professional contracts. Luis Fernandez is not in contract. Jarrell Kwanza is on a part-time contract. Everybody else in the field is on full-time contracts, are on full-time contracts. And we are playing away to Cambridge. Look at all that, you know, football league branding going on. Call media predictions. We're going to be dead last. We're supposed to fight bravely against relegation. I thoroughly expect us to finish top three this season. That is our expectation. Because the two teams that got relegated from this league last year finished 20th and 23rd in the National League. The level of the league and the National League might even be better than League Two. If it, I know that's not true, but it is close. But we, we look competitive. We look like we're not being overwhelmed. That was a nice bit of passing play to kind of set this up. Um, that doesn't look like, oh yeah, it's Louise, should be. Roach! Jarrell's on that again. Well, he's open. <laughs> well, isn't that guy open? It would be so nice if Shaq Ford scored in his first game. Hey! Nice win, Stanley. Ooh, nice touch. Oh! Patrick Kelly with the first professional goal for the Taunt Town Peacocks. See, I remember the relevant numbers. Oop, yay. Oh, goodness. He's got him. He's got him. This guy's going to misplay that. Jimmy Roach. Goal! That is Jimmy Roach from Patrick Keeley. The hero of the playoff to Jimmy Roach just sauntering around looking for his chance. And what about the finish? Commentators curse. Oh, Ford. He's got Trey Luke. Oh, wow. He just had a 1v1 saved. Because he has the size. He's got the playmaking chops. Whoa. That is a huge save because this is atrocious. I think it's Beecroft. We had a bit of a struggle with that quick fire triple chance thing they had there at the end, but we have won the match. Our first match in the professional leagues. We believe that we can go up. The team doesn't. They don't know that yet. I I believe that we can go up. If we can sign Connor Wood, Prince Henry, uh, Prince Henry and Kyle Hudlin would solve all striker issues we were going to have this year. And then we need another midfielder. And we are committed. Uh, our committed spins getting close to the line. We got Connor Wood. Does he need a trade? Oh, God. He's already getting worse. That's not good. Um, crosses early. That is good. Gets forward whenever possible. That is good basically all I would want you to have. So let's just work on maintaining your level of quickness as much as you can throughout the rest of your career. I thought we had a really good stream. Uh, we seem to be, you know, blessed by the gods when it came to transfers, even though we didn't get some of the best guys we were going for, which always seems to be the case. We didn't get the top cut of guys that accepted contract offers from us, but we got the next level. And I think we've built out a pretty good team. We're figuring out our depth pieces, our rotation pieces for the rest of the season.